did you put some burgers on the grill? Went back in the house, came back out, thought they were gonna turn out amazing, and then they end up looking like burnt hockey pucks. That sound like you? Or maybe you put some chicken breasts on the grill, you thought they were gonna turn out really juicy, and then they ended up being extremely tough, dry, and not juicy at all. That sound like you? Well sit back, relax, watch this video, and I'll show you how to make sure that doesn't happen. Stay tuned. So it's real simple as to why you're burning your food. It comes down to two things. One is how you have your fire set up. So I'm gonna show you all how to set up a two zone fire system, uh, just so it's out there in the open and it's clear as to why I'm doing it. And two, it's gonna be your temperature. You probably have it up too high for the food that you're cooking, but it starts with how you set up your fire. So let's go over that two zone fire system real quick. So the two zone fire system is simple. All you have to do with your grill is place charcoal on one side and leave one side empty. This is what it would look like. You can put more, you can put less, but this is essentially what it looks like. So when you place it on that indirect side, it's gonna be a lot cooler, uh, which is a good thing. So once you end up charring, say that, those ribs, that chicken breast, uh, chicken wing, whatever you have, once you char it on the direct side, move it over to the indirect side so that it's not as hot and it's not directly over the flame. That's one way you're gonna prevent your food from burning. The other way to prevent your food from burning is to just make sure you have a temp gauge now my grill has one built into the dome of the grill, but yours may not, and that's fine. You can buy standalone temp gauges, but bottom line, you need to know how much, you know, how hot your, your fire is. You need to know once you put your food on the grill, how much you're exposing it to heat. Sometimes you need a little less heat, sometimes you need a little more, depending on what you're cooking, but the common denominator is that you're gonna need to know how much that how, or how hot that temp is. So make sure you get you a temp gauge. So that in a nutshell is how you make sure you don't burn your food. So first off, make sure you are watching how you set up your grill. Let's go with that two zone fire system most of the time just to make sure we have somewhere else to place the food. And then the other way, you just have to watch your temp. So if you don't already have a temp gauge built in, please, please, please go buy you one, just so you know. I mean, this stuff is an art. But there, are, there is uh, some science to this, and that's where that temp gauge comes in. So let's make sure we don't burn our food, and happy grilling. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you found it extremely helpful. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Um, also tell one of your friends, maybe they're burning their food a lot, so maybe they could find this video helpful. But until next time, Ant Still Barbecue, catch you later.